Hello world, this is JWP, J Ward Primo Beats, coming to you live from my home studio. For around 20 years, I've been mixing and mastering music, songwriting, rapping, recently started singing, and everything else that goes along with music production, such as graphic design, editing, photo editing, video editing. And for around 15 years, I've been using SynthEdit to make my own audio plugins. Check out my website, jwpsite.com, for my social links, latest news and updates, and public offerings. Twitch, JWP Stream, Facebook, JWP Meta, YouTube at JWPTube. If you'd like to help support what I do, check out my Patreon, JWP Patreon. That's with two Ps. There's exclusive content there for making your own audio plugins and synth edit. My GoFundMe, JWP Fund, or my PayPal, JWP, MAS at gmail.com. Likes, comments, subscribes, follows, whatever makes you click or appreciate that. I just went off track there. I'm not sure. Today I'll be continuing along, remixing, remastering some of my older beats in FL Studio. By older, I mean some of like my very, very first stuff. My very first stuff, unfortunately, got lost to old hard drives that got lost in the trash and just couldn't really hold on to things back then that easy because I didn't even do a mic check because space was so limited and computer resources were very expensive. Um, I opened a whole bunch of FL Studios, but it doesn't seem to do anything. Oh my god, here. Okay, let's give this a listen. Okay, it's, now, it's, it's not, now deciding to open things here. How did I do this before? I'm just listening here. Wait, it's running. Let's just... Like, I'm trying to open a whole bunch at once, and... When I did it before, this is how I did it. Because I just sort of select a whole bunch of zips. And open them. Except it's not working. Yeah, it just keeps opening the same one. Hmm. Maybe I have to start from like no FL Studio open? Because I think I opened up my FL Studio before it started, right? Okay, so I'll try that again. Um, I'll just switch to my computer screen since it's nothing too sensitive here. So here's I got them all selected. I do have two versions of the same thing, the joint and the joint two. So I'm not sure which one. And yeah, today I'm just going to be looking at. Hopefully this opens multiple. I'm just going to be looking at where they are. Yeah, there they go. Whoa. So let's see how many it manages to open here. Yeah, okay, so it looks like it is doing multiple. All right, so I'm just going to be looking at where the projects are. That's why the title of this is scoring. It is my birthday, so happy birthday to me. 38 years I've been doing FL Studio since I was about 13, 14. So that's like... I did have someone call me out in the Discord today. For those of you watching on Kick or YouTube or LinkedIn or LinkedIn, um, what is it called? DLive, any other place besides Twitch, these are just reruns. They're likely just watching a pre recorded rerun, which changes. I try to do every day, but sometimes I have a drink on the weekend and then Friday just plays straight through the weekend. I apologize for that. Not really. So it's your own dumbass fault if you are chatting to thin air. There are bots in place that tell you that this is a rerun. The titles do say rerun. So yeah, anyway, um, 38 less 13. No, it's not 38 less 13. So 25 years now. FL Studio. On the money. 25th anniversary. Well, I didn't start when I was 13. I think I started like mid-June or whatever. But the first time I seen FL, I kind of fell in love with just the open workspace. Anyway, so here is round. That's what it's called, right? Round. And round has sitting, looks like garbage. No, this would be fine, I guess. Yeah, so this is compressed. Round is compressed. Um, Didn't I have a problem with it being nasally? And I think I looked at that already, right? So that got dealt with. I'm actually going to clear my notes one last time. And I'll just make some new notes. And I can't show my notes because they are in my keep. 
Google Keep and it has some like codes and stuff and just wish lists and laundry lists and things I'd much rather not show. So brown, kick weak snare flat hat flimsy. So I'm sure I addressed most of that. I'm just gonna clear it anyway and then I'll do some new um field testing. Wind battery leads are too loud. Has wind battery been processed though? Like as far as yeah, I got two dead joints too here. Where's wind battery? Doesn't look like it opened. It must have been the one that crashed. It looks like a few of them didn't open. Okay, so the joint synth round and stack code did open. So two of the joints synth round and stack code did open. So I'm still missing these other ones here. And for some reason, I'm having a problem with. Oh, but I can't open more, can I? It's just gonna open in place of these other ones. Yeah, I think it's just going to open in place. So they kind of have to all execute at once, right? I think. Anyway, yes, I'm having problems with Synth as far as its pre-cut. It is not in the album or the album is titled wrong. So I'm get to doing that. Where's the MP3s? They're on top there. So yeah, Synth doesn't have any information. So I'm going to go ahead and foobar that. Just look at where that's sitting. Close this. And it doesn't it probably doesn't even have what's it called? Replay game. No, it doesn't. Okay. So it needs everything. A we'll replay game here. That doesn't really matter that I click that scan track. Apply. Then metadata. Artist name. Album artist and album. Okay, so I'm gonna get that in right now, just so it kind of jumps into the folder and just to be in. Um, I didn't hear. Okay, so I'm clearing that stuff. I'll come back to that. I don't have a lot of time today. Birthday stream. I am slacking. I'm slacking my day. I didn't do any exercise or anything. Just Black in it. My job did get intensely harder. I do not have to keep up with it. I am also have increased my calorie intake. I'm now taking veggie greens along with you no know, veggie sensors along with protein powder. So that's another probably, I don't know, 500 calories at least. So I'm just the right neck and neck with it. I do have, you know, my weekends that play me out. What am I doing here? Um, okay, so that's running. I'm going to get it in. I got to clear my media player here. Well, not clear, but refresh it once I delete something. Otherwise, it kind of stays stuck. And I can't show this part, so I'll just show that. Um, it doesn't look like they opened. It looks like one did, and it looks like it replaced round. So yeah, that is the case. Must have been that crash, whatever crashed kind of interrupted the load cycle for everything. I'm not sure what exact which one exactly crashed. So I do know that most of it opened. I can't remember exactly which ones. I'm gonna get this track in now before I forget. It's kind of all at the place here. Not gonna be a lot of listening today, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to find something for. Um, my clip or my short or my with this with this um YouTube call it stories not Discord Facebook call it story right story anyway so that's out did I just delete the wrong one no I don't so I gotta refresh my phone and then I move edited one in I wait for it to finish refreshing because if I don't it'll just stay locked like if I have a file and it has its metadata and then you know I delete it and then just replace it with something else and refresh it I'll just keep that old metadata on the new file 
So I got to remove an old file, refresh so that it sees it that not there anymore, bring in the new file, and then refresh, and it rewrites the data. Okay, so it's done. Bring in the new file. Just took like less than a second. Refresh, and then that's done. Okay, so I still seem to have one FL Studio open. It looks like this might be the problematic one, the one that doesn't want to close, right? Okay, so I'm just going to force close it. And not like Star Wars Force, just, you know, Task Manager Force. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's closed. So it's Dyna Detonate. I'm going to try to load it on its own. And perhaps that might be the problem. I might just have to resave. I hope I don't lose work because that was the one I was just doing, right? That was the one I just finished. In the field testing, it sounded okay. The low flying instrument was a little high. Um, I guess maybe I can bring it down right now just because I have it loaded and I gotta reload my media player and open my folders again. Ugh. Yeah. Um, it's, this is kind of coming to a point where there's not gonna be too much as far as mixing and mastering. Some touches here, preferably, and I'd really like to get this cut. Like, there's always this point of like the only way to get things sort of 100% is to spend extra, extra time on them, and I'm not willing to do that. I need to move on, so I'll get them to a comfortable point, and then that's it. Then I'll cut. So I do not have a lifetime to spend on this stuff, and I'm considering streamlining workflow and i'll talk more about that in future streams um, it can be closed a million windows open oh, yeah, okay so in here then detonates so it didn't seem to have any problems loading i am finding this low flying this part is a little loud compared to the tick i think it's just when it's like, because it's different in the field, right? I have different headphones. And... It does sound like louder, even though the other one is running. I'm pretty sure the other one's running, right? Yeah, so the other one is running. Okay, so it's just that they're like merged together a little bit, I guess. I do feel like this one should be a bit louder though because it's holding pace and the other one's kind of more of a groove. So I'm going to drop this one a little bit and I'll see how that sounds in the field, how I like that. Um, by a little bit, I mean a lot. So we'll bring it down a full three. Kind of like that better. Okay, so I'm going to save that. And of course I got to do all the stuff again. Processing zip. And then I got to go into RX, not Xbox, RX. Um, then I gotta wait for it, right? Cause it's still running. It's done. Okay. Um, well, we just saved it, so I gotta export it now. That's probably gonna take a moment. How much time I got? Like five minutes. Um, we cut. Done. It's an eight. Save. Yes. Replace. Um. This is just regular wave. I do want to check that ozone is running. Dithering. Or if it is off, nothing else is interfering with the output. Okay, so it's a bit of a change. Do I really have to sit through the whole thing? I don't really feel like it. This is sort of a pre-cut. Maybe I'll sit through it again you know, for a final cut. But for now, I did a minor change. It's going to change the volume a little bit. But because I have post-processing, it shouldn't be too far. It shouldn't be too bad. Okay, so Dynamite made save. Yes. 16-bit start. I don't. It would be. It's like negligible, the amount of change that um, Ozone will be doing on it. Yeah, so that is going to take a moment. Uh, I can't close FL Studio. Not sure really what to do with this time now. Um, <clears throat> headphones off. Shouldn't take too long. Right? Here's probably almost, you know. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I was going to clear up my to do list here. So, Sinneth, Synth Muddy, and Echo Sucks, Space Nasally, Clap Low. Okay, so that's before I sort of redid everything. So, I'll cut that out. Wind battery still needs to be looked at. Leads are too loud. Those strings are just killer. The joint kick sounds muffled. Piano too loud. Well, there's Dino Detonate. So Dino Detonate. I just looked at it. I just raised the... Uh, I think I had more to... No. Yeah, I did. Low flying is too loud. Okay, so... I'm just going to delete this whole second. Road stab to staccato. So I'll listen for that. I got to do more critical listening. Mm, controversial doesn't have any info. The joint kick sounds muffled. Piano is too loud. I gotta look at that. That go bass clicks kicks massive. I also thought that like the little bell sound is missing. Bell sound missing from kick because there was like a little bell in there. And I don't hear it anymore. Dynamite Nate low flying is too loud. Synth part two, synths too low, rim too loud. Okay, so I'll look at synth right now too. Um, I will get, actually I gotta do things like one at a time, right? Cause I'm gonna be tripping over myself if I don't stick to one thing. So I might only just get this done. Um, module chain, let's run this. Bar ready. And um, I'll close this. I'll see if I can load everything again all at once. What am I looking for here? This is the same thing. Yeah, this is the same thing. And I can't see it on screen. It's just me digging through folders. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to load these all again at once. I'm not sure which one crashed. Um, yeah, it's open. And probably gonna get another crash, right? And I gotta determine which one is crashing. Okay, so RX is done. Oh, well, you can't even see RX. Um, which one am I looking at here? This one. I think this one is my thing. So RX is done. I did the processing. I'm gonna export it as MP3. Then this goes over top of the old one. Yes. Blue bars already running. I can pull this one. Then uh, here. Okay, so that's the local oops folder. I want to be in here and precuts. And then just did that's an right? Okay, so it's missing its data. Metadata, so let's get it happening here. And properties, replay game. I don't know why I always click that. Like, there's no point. They should have a button to detect here. Okay. Um, artists. Album title, do pro. And album artist. Okay, so now I can move that into my phone here. Right. It's, uh, I shouldn't need to update the metadata because it's already, it's still the same metadata, just a different track now. Okay, so that's done. How did um, FL Studio turn out? Okay, error, who's error? Which file is throwing the air? Doesn't say. Could be the first one that's loaded right now. So let's crash the log, which is that co or synth two. Okay, so then it's gonna continue to load, right? It's gonna keep throwing. No, so yeah, it's still loading. But one is interrupting them. I don't know which one. I'm actually going to crash if it's a good idea. I don't think it is. I think it's stopped now.
So generally the one that doesn't work usually won't play. Okay, so where's wind battery at here? Okay. It looks like wind battery has stuff. It's got that ugly curve though. Okay, so wind battery has to be looked at. It's too loud. Full reprocessing. So this will probably be for tomorrow stream. Because there's a lot of junk on there. Okay, what about walk with me? I'm out of time. Okay, so exit that and stack code. We're just gonna look at walk with me right quick and see where that's at. Imagine that probably I need the reprocessing. Those these other ones. And who should I just mess with it right click? I should give it full attention, right? So I'll just drop that. Like actually do the whole reduce. I mean like changing that one sound in Dyna Detonate a little bit isn't that much, but changing the whole dynamic of the synth in Synth Part 2, like bringing it up louder and turning that rim shot down that's going to change quite a bit so I'll redo ozone at that point okay so wind battery looks like the one that might be toast here it's probably just a corrupt header maybe i don't know later um it's loaded and see where this is sitting as far as processing I imagine it's another full reprocessing because this is kind of where processing started. I was like, well, these sound great because the compressors are there and everything is in place. And then I kind of went through everything else. And yeah, because look, whoa. Yeah, so. Garbage. What's that? Yeah. yeah, so full reprocessing looks like. I mean, most of it's there. I just don't like the way it's sitting. What am I using to compensate? Ugh. Yeah, no. And then parametric EQs, these roll offs. So, yeah, full reprocessing for a walk with me, too. Uh, is that even my list? No. And it's full reprocessing. I imagine there's other parts of it. Um, it is piano bass. Like there isn't actually a bass there. I do remember if I had a support oscillator for it. Um, but for the most part, there isn't a lot to do there. Maybe just rebalance the guitars and stuff and get them somewhere else. Anyway, I got to call it there. Check out my website, jwpsite.com, for my social links, latest news and updates, and public offerings. My Twitch, jwpstream, Facebook, jwpmeta, YouTube, at jwptube. If you'd like to help support what I do, check out my Patreon, JWP Patreon. That's with two Ps. There's exclusive content there for making your own audio plugins and synthetic. My GoFundMe, JWP Fund, or my PayPal, JWPMAS at gmail.com. Likes, comments, subscribes, follows, whatever makes you click are appreciated. Thanks for watching. Until next time.